hi guys so today i'm going to talk about my current favorites so i've been loving a lot of products lately so that's why i want to share all of you what i've been loving and what i've been using for this past few months already so first i'm going to talk about what should i do okay body care and skincare so the first one is the therm skincare bulgarian rose foaming shower gel so i've been using this already for almost a month and i really like how it feels when you use it as a when you're showering so it like it foams up and when you rub it in it feels so soft and so moussey and creamy when you apply it and i feel so hydrated after it's not like a dry product when you use it some shower gels i feel like it's so itchy after but this is really um, gentle and hydrating for me that's why I really like it and I highly recommend trying their shower gel for me shower gel from uh, Therm next one is the Bior um, free your pores with free your pores but how to anti posture scrub so it's like anti uh, acne scrub with salicylic acid so i really like this because um, it's really effective as a scrub and it's not so like harsh on my skin when you, when you apply it's really like soft and yeah it's really cooling it's like with a mental i think it's really like um my face feels really cold after i i use it and yeah i really like how it's i whenever i use it like I know that the dry skin, um, my dry skin, my nose will be gone, and it also helps to like fight against pimples. That's why it's really um, good product as well if you have a uh, acne prone skin. And I really like Biore Biore uh, products in general. I've used some of their products before and really love it. And I'm glad that they have this in our in a, in our local drugstore, but they don't have so much choices. Only this line and some a few of products. But I hope more from Japan products will be um, stocked here. Next one is a cleanser, so it's from Clavu. So it's a pure pearlization revitalizing facial cleansing foam. So I did really like this. Uh, it's I've been using this for months and you only need few drop of it of like a pea size and Yeah, it's really soft. It's really foam. It's really gentle and I that you feel the it's really a good quality kind of cleanser That's why I I highly recommend you try it and that's why now I know why it's really Hyped and it was really yeah, I think I heard about this from Charlotte Cho So that's why I wanted to try their cleanser and I didn't really regret and I got this for on sale in Yestel as well Next one is like a drink. So it's from Pickwick. It's a green tea citrus citrus syrup so this really popular kind of product here in Belgium and the Netherlands so you just add a bit of this and add it with the, and dilute it with water I think few drops or like yeah one teaspoon and then with water and your water will really taste good i like to mix it with the uh, sparkling water and i really like how it tastes and i've been this is my second bottle and i think i will repurchase this over and over again because i really like it it's just like a, yeah i think healthier than like iced tea or yeah of cola i try to avoid it so yeah i i really like this so I think I'm gonna buy more of this if it's done again. Next one is a t-shirt. So this I just got it because I know I will wear this a lot. I too, but I only got this now. But if it was summer still, I will wear this I think a lot of times. So this I got from Primark yesterday. It's like on sale and a t-shirt with a just peach on it. So I have a mic, so that's why you you will see a black. A microphone there but it's really cute and yeah I, I like peachy makeup and if any kind of peach products that's why I was really happy I saw that a customer bought it and I I knew when I saw it I will I want to get it luckily when I look it up the the following day they still have my size so it's only four euros so and it's the only one left that is my size so the next one is um, a long sleeve shirt so it's from 
and other stories so I got this because I had a gift card from my friends and they gave me a gift card from this store and when I saw it, I saw this I it was on sale and I really like how it looks and I like this I know I will wear this a lot during winter time I really like this kind of um, uh, kind of clothes and I know I will wear this a lot it has like a cute detail here at the end of the sleeve like a V and yeah I really like how it looks on me and the color so I'm really happy I got it and I really feel the quality of their clothes and yeah I think I got it for hmm 19 euro or maybe less I'm not sure anymore so yeah that's my other favorite uh, clothing so the next one are eyeshadows so I discovered this brand because it um, when I ordered in Buzi Shop, they gave it for free and the first one I got is this I love makeup chocolate elixir and I am really in love with this the quality the colors I think this is like a modern renaissance kind of dupe and I really like how it blends it blends so smoothly so buttery and yeah it, the pigment and the quality is really amazing that's why i really in love with this like maybe it's so bad that they gave it for free but I, I was really wrong i really really love this palette and when i was looking for i want i wanted more and um timely that in crowdfot online uh, crowdfot.nl they had one plus one so i ordered more so i bought other things i think the rose gold the peachy something and i think the one that is too for the, the 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 chocolate bar from uh too faced i think they are they really copied the chocolate like theme of the too faced but i'm really happy that they copied it because they're really good as well the quality and the next one i like is the chocolate orange so this is well the color is really beautiful and yeah I, I i when i look at them i'm really inspired to like do a lot of makeup looks and you know um try to better my makeup skills and i really love them as well i got this i love revolution nude so this was not on sale i just got it because i was looking when i was searching about them i think from this brand the thumb beauty i saw they, they released a new one i was really curious because i really love how it looks online and this my god i think this is my perfect palette for me this is like this is kind of my shades this is the shades that speak to me and i know i will use this is the first palette that I said to myself I will use every color I think all the color I use may be flustered not because it's almost like white it will not look good on my crease but the rest I know I can play I can play and use them and I'm really happy that they made this and I think now it's six euros 95 in a boozy shop so i'm really shocked i think i want to get another one i maybe they will discontinue it i hope not so i have a backup because i really really love the shades so the next one is a tool so it's a lash and brow uh, brush from boozy shop i got this for free and i didn't like the morphe that i have and i'm really happy i chose this as free product because it's really soft and i really like how um, it brushes my hair and doesn't it's not painful it's really soft and yeah I it's really also light and thin so if you like that heavy kind of brush you would really like this as well next one are blushes so I have five kind of blushes so first is from wet and wild color icon uh, blushes so it took me a while to really buy these uh, blushes but I really regret it in my room because I really love it so I have I think four shades everything I have so but the two colors that I really use uh, a lot is the apricot in the middle and rosé champagne so these are like really like um, nude or like very natural looking blush for me I like it with if I have really colorful or like heavy eye makeup look i like to use them and yeah they're really pretty both of them i interchange depending on my mood and the quality is there the pigmentation it's not so pigmented which i like and it's really easy to blend and very smooth creamy formula so i highly recommend this uh, line from uh wet and wild the next one is the ofra blush in bellini so 
this i got when it was on sale i think i bought it for nine euro something and it's like 28 euro because they repackage repackage this now and uh, I'm, I like this more than the white one, the newer version, so I wanted to try it and I'm really happy I got it. This is one of my favorite blush as well, the, it just looks good on me, it's really like light peachy or orange kind of shade which is very nice for like if you have a natural makeup look and it matches most of my the makeup look that I go for like really like this this palette is really um it matches this blush for this palette and most of my eye look anyways are natural so i really love the quality of this and i already use this a lot and the the draw uh, the design is still like intact it's look it looks like new it, this is how it looked when i first really opened it and i really like the ofra blushes so i think i'm gonna get i gonna get more because i see i saw that they are on sale now in a boozy shop the other colors like the smaller one of this i think and the next one is the Too faced love blush long lasting 60 hour blush in baby love so i i've been wanting to have this for a long time and finally it was restocked in sephora but unfortunately now i think they are um discontinued because everything is out of stock in sephora and you cannot normally if they were stuck it again you can leave your email so they can notify you if it's on stock again but they don't have it, it's like it was safe so i don't know in, i don't know how you say that in french but i i'm afraid they will not uh, sell this again but in um douglas Punt and, L, Punt and L, they still have it but this was the thing this month almost six months they said they're gonna restock this shade but it never happened but the other shades they still have so i think i'm gonna get more before everything will be discontin discontinued but i will wait for sale like maybe the black friday or things like that kind of sale uh, yeah i like this because i th at first i thought that this would be like matte but it has really shimmers but really nicely uh, it's not like overly shimmery but it's like subtle and i like how it looks on my face really complements my makeup and my skin and yeah i like the quality it's really it's not so pigmented but it blends so easily and yeah i've used this uh so much that um the bun is already gone if you can see good and yeah i really like this and i hope i can still buy another shade so i will have a backup of this before it's gone and it's really compact and really yeah it's really cute and i really like how yeah how cute it is and i'm so sad they would discontinue it because i saw that they still have in twofaced.com but we cannot order here in um, belgium in uh, twofaced uk or in the us or sephora usa so yeah i hope uh, douglas will restock it soon and the next one is the blusher from N Other Stories. It's the Skifly Sand. So this is their new collection and I really like this this brand. Their blushes I almost like buy everything. So and yeah, I think this color is also like kind of the Bellini, like very uh, nude, um, natural looking blush. It's like a pink lighter pink kind of shade but it really looks natural on me and yeah i can pair it with a lot of my makeup looks that's why i like the quality of the uh, blush from another story so i kept on buying from them if they have a new one or their older collection as well so yeah and the next one is a um, highlighter it's from wet n wild mega glow highlighting powder in precious petals now i understand what's all the hype all about with this um with this um, highlighter it really looks so like I can see the glow the the glow is real that's why I really like the it's really smooth it really when I apply it and if, if after I like take a picture I really see how glowy and how nice my skin looks that's why I'm really amazed with this it's like five six euro and it has a lot of product i don't think i will finish this even for a year <laughs> this is how much you will get and it's so cheap and the quality is there i'm really really amazed i i like to use this more than my other highlighters i still like the the balm 
Mary Lou manizer for my nose but this for the cheek area is really amazing you really need to try it so that you know what I'm talking about it's really really good highlight next one is essence eyebrow designer number seven dark chocolate so I got this during vacation because I forgot to bring my um, um, eyebrow pencil i usually use the, the face shop but now it's gone because i broke it the last part of it so now i'm using this and i really like it it's really this is what i'm wearing right now i think it really suits my hair and yeah i like how it's not so dark and it's not so light and the formula is really good as well i can draw it so um smoothly and yeah fast and yeah, it's just, I think it's only two euro or less than that. So I'm really amazed with this product and I think I will try more from their uh, eyebrow uh, line. Next one is a mascara. So the mascara I'm currently using for three months. I usually use a mascara for three months, then I change another one. I will not open like three, four kinds of mascara at the same time because that's a waste of money because normally mascara you need to only use for three months and then you need to replace it. So you will not have a style like I had before, but I don't know what was the cause of that. But for your um, safety and for your health use um, uh, replace your mascara every three months so I really like this Japanese mascara is one of the oh wait I still didn't see the name the thing Majolica Majorica Lash King mascara the Majolica Majorica Lash King mascara I think this is the shade black BK999 so this is the uh, what not really i like that the one is like this like straight so it's easy to apply in the lower lash line and i like how that it's like when i notice japanese mascara when you curl your lashes and apply this it will stay curled the rest of the day so how you i will look at how I'm, my lashes look if it still look the same yeah it's a bit down now but normally yeah, the other one stays better but this is really good as well it's really it gives a bit volume but more like lengthening and i like that yeah it's not really it doesn't clump and when it dries it doesn't budge and doesn't like um smudge so i'm really amazed with japanese mascara that's why i will continue um buying japanese mascara next ones or the last ones are lip products so first i'm gonna talk is that the lip product i'm using right now this i've been using this a lot like <laughs> i think this is one of the shades i will really finish so this is the mamonde creamy tint color lip balm intense in number 23 brick rose so i will review about this because my finally the other shade that i lost um, is here it just arrived today so i finally review uh, mamonde um, lip balm my collection and this is one of my favorite shades the new were released no, yeah they have a new one now but this was the the recent one before the latest release so it's really i really like this shade it's really pretty and yeah it's more for like um natural makeup day and i can also pair this a lot with different looks especially during summertime and the quality is really great as well what this is my i think the mamonde lip balms are is this like a pencil lip balm is one of my favorite only the cup it's annoying because it can like loose up and yeah open in your bag so just be careful about it but yeah and they're only seven dollars as well so the next one is the wet and wild megala sleep color in buried also i tried this um, line before but i gave everything away i think i bought like 14 15 because they were on sale like one year something each but um I don't know why I give them away yeah I just give them away because I didn't like it but when I wanted to have like a nude shade and they said this is the um, dupe for the Velvet Teddy so I wanted to try it before I want to commit to the um, MAC Velvet Teddy because it's really um, expensive mostly nude colors I don't really look it doesn't really look nice on me but this is really amazing it's really complimenting when I wear this blush from Oprah and this palette and other kinds of like really like peachy brown kind of looks it really looks amazing this is the best nude i think this is my nude shade and i 
think I'm gonna buy velvet tadi because of this and this quality is really amazing once I we were in a party they even asked me what's your what's the lipstick you're wearing because uh, it even uh, while I was e eating my lipstick stayed really uh, it stayed really good it didn't like faded and they were really amazed and they were shocked that it's only four euro or five euro so yeah I highly recommend this um, lipstick from uh, Wet n Wild and I think they changed the packaging because before it was really flimsy but now it's like really secure and yeah it feels thicker than the other than the old one and yeah I might try other other shades I know I did like the in the flesh and other colors so maybe I will review about them soon so we will see about that and the next one are the Peripera Airy Ink Velvet so I review this as well I will try it. I will link it so you know uh, how they look six and the number eight i used a lot this is one of my favorite colors from my collection and yeah i just like how it looks on me it really complements my skin tone and yeah and the formula they're really opaque than the older version and yeah, i really really love this um uh, lipstick uh, formula from uh, peripera and the next one is the Essence Velvet Matte Lipstick in shade number 10 so I also did a review about it I will link it um, here up so you can check it out and this is my favorite shade among the four I think I got and yeah this really perfect for like uh, my lips but better kind of shade and I can also pair this with a lot of my makeup look that i go for and the formula is really amazing really soft and it's really cheap two euro 39 cents and it really feels like buttery and creamy and very long lasting and it's really uh, comfortable and hydrating for the lips as well and the next one is the bpia i have no idea how you call this um it's, it's the shade number four so i I knew about this because of Pony. She uses one of her a tutorial, and everyone got it, and it was turned really like a lot of people wanted to try it. So that's why I want to try it. At first, I didn't like the formula because it was so like not so pigmented to me. I needed to build it up. But after a while, when I want, I liked the velvety kind of shade. I'm more in velvet velvet kind of velvety kind of lipstick so this I, I appreciate it more I mix it with other lipsticks like browns and it will give me that perfect peachy brown kind of shade so that's why I really like this and I think I will finish this up <laughs> it's almost yeah I use this a lot already and maybe I will repurchase or if I will find the peachy like how I it looks when I mix it with the browns that I have I think I might not repurchase but this is really uh, really nice formula so it's really velvety and really smooth and hydrating it's very comfortable and I really like the quality as well from this or oh, yeah B, B, yeah I think it's Bia not Bia sorry and the last one is a lipstick or a lip tint from Lily by Red I think it's the um, an, um, mood layer velvet tint in the shade number four I think this is permison if I'm not mistaken and this is the shade I also reviewed it I will link it here also if you want if you're interested um, in other shades that I got and this is the one this is, this is the shade I used on the, a lot and I like this also it's like a um, burnt orange kind of shade and yeah I really like how it smells and it's all so smooth and like very very comfortable in your lips as well and yeah it's uh, like the the formula and how it looks and very long lasting for me as well so that's all for my current favorite so i hope you enjoyed and learned a bit and yeah i hope it was helpful and yeah it's sorry it's a bit dark though because it's already um 7 p.m here and yeah, yeah thank you for watching i'm gonna see you in my next one bye